Hello, ARC families. Welcome to uh, today's edition of Fun Friday. Today we are going to uh, run the 6K for water. Traded in our ranger gear for running gear. I am running for Chance, age 12. And I'm running for Bayanda. It's from Swaziland. Mine's from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo. Yeah, so, so uh, here we go guys. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. We'll film ourselves along the way so you get a little bit of the action. Okay guys, you probably can't run the whole thing with us, but you can stretch with us before. So put your legs like shoulder width apart and stretch down to the ground. Oh, I'm on flexible. Ooh, me too. I got it though. Ah. Oh yeah, touch the ground, touch the ground. Look, here comes Sarge. Okay guys. Now stretch, stretch those Hammy. hamstrings. One leg. One leg right here. Next leg right over here. Here we go. Stretching the quads. Oh yeah. Legs like this and lean to the side. Oh yeah. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch. Switch. Switch legs. Oh yeah. Ninja stretch. Ninja stretch. Oh. Okay. Now nah, shake it out. I think that's good enough. Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, how's it going? Just starting out. I already like the first minute in. I'm already kind of tired, honestly. Yeah. So you guys, and keep going. Keep up the good work. Smile. Here we are, red light number one. First one of maybe three. We get a break for like a, a few seconds. seconds. Every second counts. Every second. Because this really hurts. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's more like a minute. This is nice. Should we have brought water? Nah. Well, I guess, remember kids, stay hydrated. We drank before this so that we could get a record time. Record breaking 6K. We're the same color as that car. Nice. Orange power. Flip it? There's no flipping it. Okay, mid. guys. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> we made it to the first hill. Five percent of the way there. We're doing it. Barely tired. I can do this for a uh, minute. Minutes, I tell you. Oh. Halfway up the big hill. Remember guys, if you're doing the run, wear your hat. <laughs> Rather fell off a curb. Wear your orange shirts. Represent an orange shorts like like Ranger Red. You gotta be matching guys. If you have ninja headbands like us, put those on too. Coming to the top of the hill. Over and out. Hey guys, how's it going? We're waiting at another stoplight now. How do you feel, Ranger Ryler? Uh, like I haven't run in a long time. Yeah. But good other than that. I mean, these brakes kind of help us. For sure. After this, we have no brakes though. When you think about it. There's a couple more lights, but we don't really have to stop. But like after like that light right up there. That's true. We're almost done with our brakes. We're almost done with our oh, brakes, guys. Aaron. Hey, look, there's Erin. Wow, she's driving over there. Okay, just waiting. This is the uh, Fairview Calle Real intersection. So this one takes forever. So this is like 20 minutes already. This is like the calm before the storm, guys. We're getting weird looks for you guys. 
for it's for the kids, rather. These kids. Remember guys, we're doing this so that kids in Africa don't have to walk to get clean water. So that they can have it close by them. That's why we're doing this. Here we go. I think we're about to go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna keep running. See you guys. Here we go guys. The last hill. I think. Probably. Maybe. The last big hill. That's my fire hydrant. Five, four, three, two, one. Get it. Ready to go. Yeah. I'm out of shape, guys. It's been a while since ranger school. Look, guys. That's where we normally do church, right down there. Hi, Galita Valley. So cool. See you guys in a little bit. Hey, guys. We're just running past Galita Valley. Look, there it is. Fourth and sixth graders. There's our class. I really can't say anything because it's so shaky, but it's there. Ugh. How do you feel, Ryler? Really bad. Nice. So out of shape. Cool. Holy Dolphin Dan is gonna run through this. If only, if only. I think Dolphin Dan would have dehydrated. Yeah, for sure. Huh. That's a good point, actually. It's also helpful when you run. Look, we're wearing bright orange shirts, so no cars hit us. High visibility. Haven't been hit yet. Here we go. See you guys in a bit. Ryler, where are you? Oh, there we go. He fixed the problem. Thanks, Ryler. Always run with your eyes open. Okay guys, our end goal is Christ Lutheran Church, where we had our worship night on Wednesday. FMHQ, baby. It's also where we have prayer meeting every Tuesday night, when, when we normally meet. Right now it's on Zoom, but it's normally there. But we're almost there, right, Ryler? Right. It's a little further, guys. A little further. Let's go, go, go. How's that feel? Really? Keep going, yeah. You want some? You want me to do it to you? Yeah. How's that feel? It feels nice. Yeah. It's really hot. Okay, guys, great run today. That was, it was harder than I thought it was gonna be, but it wasn't that bad. Kinda. It was pretty bad. But it was good. Great job, everyone. Ryler, Ranger Ryler had to go uh, go run home because he's part of the worship band for Sundays. So he had to go run home again. Not really, he drove a car, but he's going home. But this run reminded me of a verse from Hebrews chapter 12. And it says, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, that have thrown off the weight and the sin that so easily entangles and run with perseverance the race set out before us, right? So as Christians, it says, run the race set out before you. What do you guys think the race is for Christians? Do you have to go run a mile every day to be a good Christian? No. It's not talking about real running, right? It's talking about living your life, right? God is comparing our life to a race. Hey, look at this. It's Sarge. Hi, buddy. He says, live your life 
with perseverance. There's another verse that says, don't grow tired of doing good. As Christians, we're supposed to treat our life as a race, right? That we're not just being lazy, going through life, oh, maybe God will help me, maybe not, you know. But we want to be pursuing God with our full heart and with, our, our, with all of our heart and all of our mind and all of our strength. So as Christians, we should be hard workers. We should pursue God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength, and, uh, and love God with our whole heart. Oh, it's kind of windy here. I don't know if it's windy. Windy here, definitely. But that's what it means when it says, run the race with perseverance, right? And the beginning of the verse says, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, right? And the whole world is looking at Christians, thinking, what is special about Christians? What can they offer me, right? And as Christians, if we live our lives in a powerful way where we say, man, I'm going to pursue God with my whole heart, the world's going to look at us and realize, man, that's something I need. I need Jesus in my life. So guys, get out there, go run your races, um, literally, as in go run with your t-shirt if you signed up. It'll be super fun. And also spiritually, live your life in a way that, that pleases God and, and work hard for Him. So great job today, guys. Happy Fun Friday, and we'll see you on Sunday.